Hi guys, it's Mike from Century Security. Today I'd like to take a look at the dual monitor setup on the RP series uh, DVR NVRs that we offer with Century Security. In order to configure the DVR, the first thing you want to do is plug in your secondary monitor. Once you've done that, if you exit out of the, sorry, minimize out of the program, right click on your Windows desktop and go to screen resolution. You just want to verify the settings of your two monitors. Okay, and you want to make sure that you have the multiple displays set to extend. If you have them, you can duplicate it. If you duplicate it, there's nothing to do with the setup. You're just going to get the exact same thing on both monitors. Typically with a second monitor, you want to display different cameras. So you need to ensure that it's set to extend. Once that's done, the next step is to go back into the DVR software and go into your settings. From within settings, you actually have to enable the dual monitor function. By default, it is disabled. You're gonna get a notification coming up that modification requires the DVR program to restart. So press OK. And then exit out of the settings screen and save your changes. Once you've done that, now nothing's going to happen until you do exit out of the program and then go back into it. So once you've done that, you've now enabled the dual monitor function of the system. What you're going to do now is right click anywhere on the video screens and go to dual monitor setup. If you don't get dual monitor setup here, then it's one of two things. You haven't enabled it in your settings or you haven't set it to extended monitors. If you have it set to duplicate the monitors, you will not see the dual monitor set up here, even if you have enabled it. Once we go into our dual monitor setup, we're gonna get this screen here, okay? Under the TV client list, if we hit the little plus sign, it's going to show us our two different monitors, okay, our main monitor and then our secondary monitor. What you want to do is click on your secondary monitor and press add. Once you've done that, it's now going to show up in your monitor list. If you click on that, and then here you're going to go to setup. Okay, so within here, we've got the monitor name. There's not really any reason to change it unless you've got you know a lot of different monitors. Typically, we just recommend you leave that at the default. Under partition mode, that's how many different cameras are going to show up. Okay, so we can go 1, 4, 9, or 16. In our case, we'll leave it at the default of 4. The next thing you want to do in your drop down box, if you select that, it's going to show you the list of cameras currently on your DVR. Okay, I've only got one camera, it's an IP camera, so I'm going to select that and drag it into the portion of the screen that you'd like it to to be displayed in. I'm going to put it on all four um, just for effect. Now if you have multiple monitors you can put, sorry multiple cameras, you can put four different cameras on one partition and then set an interval. So we can set it to say every 15 seconds go to the next monitor and it'll just cycle through them. So you could for example have your two most important cameras up here all on the top and then your bottom two it could just cycle through all of the other cameras giving you a rough idea of what's going on. The other important function here is your default stream type. If you're gonna have it on a partition of one or four we recommend you leave it on mainstream. If you're going to go up to say a partition of nine you might as well change it from mainstream down to substream. It's gonna save you some CPU usage because you're not outputting full resolution um, to nine different screens. You're not going to get full resolution anyways because the screen's divided up by nine. So there's really no advantage to having that set to mainstream. Once you have that set up how you want, you're going to have to hit save here and then exit. Okay, so the save doesn't actually exit. If you just hit exit, it doesn't save anything that you've just done. Okay, so you need to make sure you hit save and then exit. And then you get the exact same process here again. Save It'll tell you it's saved successfully, and then exit. Once that's done, your second monitor will now be working correctly and showing the monitors uh, 
as you have them configured. Thank you.